Hello, this is Wesley Fryer with Moving at the Speed of Creativity, and this is a short screencast to describe how it is you can go about using a free blog site on the website posterous.com to maintain a class blog that you can use for students to submit a variety of different content for posting and sharing. This is a method that is going to work best if you do this on a public site. While it is possible, I think, to limit and restrict access to a posterous account, uh, the techniques I'm going to share here are for publicly sharing that site. So let's first talk a little bit about what posterous is. Um, this is an example of a posterous site that I've set up, uh, just fivephotos.posterous.com and in the different workshops that I share that relate to talking with media, one of the things I've enjoyed doing over the past several months has been five photo stories. And so um, one of the nice things about Posturus is if you attach images to a single email, then you can send those in and Posturus forms this really nice little gallery of pictures and all this just happens with email. So the first thing to realize with Posturus is that you are going to have folks submit content to your site using the address post at and then your address. So in this case when people are submitting images to or, or any kind of media because you can submit different kinds of rich media, you can submit um, videos, you can submit audio files or you can you can submit um, photos they're going to send it to post and then at the address as I'm showing here in, in the screencast. I was up in Montana last month and so we had some different five photo stories that folks were sending in there from the University of Montana. So um, that's the, the first thing to realize. Blog sites, whether we're talking about WordPress or Blogger or Posterous, sort of have two faces. You have this which is the public face that everyone sees when they come to your address and then you have the behind the scenes version and so I have logged in to my Posturus account here and over on the sidebar you can see that I have a variety of different sites that I have set up. This is just the main Posturus site that I have for sharing articles and I'm going to go down here and click on my five photo stories um, site and I'm going to uh, be able to show you a little bit about how this works. So these posts right here that have this exclamation mark and this sort of, I guess it's a attention sign, I don't know exactly what that means. Um, it says this post is not yet public. Publish this. What I'm going to show you how to do is how to set up your site so that it has moderation enabled. And this is how I definitely 100% recommend that you set up your site. So in many cases you're going to get some spam and some of this I'm sure is spam for instance this digital photo editing services this is gonna be a spam message but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in another window I could have opened this I guess in another tab and sure enough here's somebody from a China based imaging um, program or company and they're trying to post content here to my site so what I'm going to do to not publish that is over here on the side I'm going to click where beside edit and I'm going to choose delete so I'm deleting that message and unfortunately you are going to have just with I think any kind of blog um, you're going to have spam that are that's going to go up here now this one I don't know I'm not sure if this is if this is or is not so I'm going to go ahead and open this up I'll open this in a new tab they call this education abroad yes and it's spam so I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and um, delete this message as well now if one of these messages was not spam and I actually wanted to keep it then instead of clicking over here to delete it says publish this if so confirm by clicking here so I could click on this message and then this particular post would go live on my blog but because I have moderation turned on these posts do not go live to my site until I approve them and you know unfortunately here there's we've got five spams that have come in so none of those are to be approved 
but that is how moderation works. Now, let's look real quickly at the settings because when you create a site on posturus.com, you have the chance to click on settings and then to make some decisions about how this site is going to work. So, in this case with privacy, um, I guess you, if you would like to limit this to just certain individuals, you can do that. You can click to edit your privacy settings and you can make your site private uh, and then other people are not going to be able to see that. So I hadn't actually done that before, but that is possible. What I want to show you down here under commenting and posting is how I have this set up. So I have this set up that anyone can post and I will moderate. And, and that is, I think, the best way to set this up for a team blog situation. So you can see here, you can let this um, be contributors can post only or anyone can post. And contributors would be people that you, I think, identify by email. So I leave that open and say that I will moderate. Um, and then, huh, I thought I'd actually check this. This is a box I recommend you check also, and that is to moderate your comments so that if people are going to leave comments, you're going to moderate those as well. Uh, I didn't notice that this hadn't been changed, so I will come in here and set my time zone, which is not a huge thing, but... I probably want to set that to be U.S. Central Time, and I think I'm looking for minus six. I'm not sure. I think I'm looking for minus five right now. Oh, here we go. There's Central Time. So these are just settings that you're going to be able to do here inside Posturus. So when you've got those kinds of settings created, Hopefully you're not going to be surprised and other people are not going to be surprised by content which shows up there because you have chosen to moderate your posts. So this is the behind the scenes version. This is the public version that other people are going to see. And again, they're not going to see school uh, posts here until you go ahead and, and uh, approve them. I'll also mention that you've got a couple other sections here. Um, under people, this is where you're going to invite folks to... Um, your blog and you can allow them to be contributors and in the case of a private blog you would do that. I really think for a classroom site it's easier to have it be publicly viewable and then moderate the content otherwise you're going to end up you know managing email addresses for however many people are going to be contributing to your site and so it'll work out a lot easier if they simply email to your site and you don't have to worry about what their you know email address is note also that you have pages that you can create on this particular site I haven't created pages I'm creating a uh, website right now called talk with media for a uh, SD presentation and a book project that I'm working on and in this case I've got different pages to talk about text images audio video and so you can create those kinds of static pages but again um, underneath my settings for this um, if I've if I'm allowing other people to post I'm definitely going to moderate that and you can see here ha, very good I have set this correctly so that the comments on that site are moderated so I've got to approve those um, one last thing that I'll just throw in as kind of a side note and that is that you can set up cross posting on a posture site so one of the things that um, I have enjoyed doing is we have a family learning blog called Learning Signs that is a WordPress blog. And this past week, my seven-year-old was working with me and she created a variety of different digital stories using some iPad applications like Sonic Picks and StoryRobe. And we used a uh, program called Story Patch to create a um, uh, an initial story that, that then she uh, talked about and narrated later. So how did we get content over here with Posturus? Well we created or I created a site on Posturus. It's free to create additional sites. You just move down here and say create a new one. But the difference is in this case we selected auto post and you can add different services in Posturus so that it will automatically post over to another website. So for instance, if you have a Twitter account, this could be for your classroom, if you have a class Twitter account, you can have your blog send a link to Twitter every time that you have an update. In the case of our Learning Signs blog, I emailed this information 
to post at my website, at my Posterous account, and then because I had auto posting turned on, it not only posted to this site, it also went over and cross posted over here onto Learning Science. So that's kind of an advanced thing. Don't worry about that if you are just getting started with Posterous. The main thing I think starting out to recognize is how important it is to go to your settings and to make sure that you have your commenting and posting settings configured the way that you want. And again, I recommend that you moderate the posts and that you moderate the comments as well. So I hope this has been helpful to you. And if you have other questions, feel free to comment on my blog as uh, this actual screencast is a response to a question that's come in from a teacher in Leewood, Kansas. So thanks very much for your attention and good luck sharing your voices and the voices of your students safely online.